Hi guys. Good boy. Good boy. We are having a wrap with fresh tomato this morning. Some a certain chef cut my uh, sharpened my knives for me. So they are very sharp. And we will just have some fresh tomato in their egg wrap with egg white on it on a mini little tortilla. Count again? Are you going to count again? Do you think it's a telephone? Yes. You know it's a light switch, right? Turn it on. Switch. Yeah. Are we on? Okay. I just wanted to tell you guys something. That... I think is a pretty helpful kind of tip in life with change. So I've done the wardrobe clean out, I've cleaned everything out, gone, donated in bags which you saw yesterday and what I, what, listen, the spend on the new clothes is pretty huge, it's a lot of money so what I want to set up so that there's just, you know, better care for the clothes and better washing is because now there's less clothes between my husband and I there will be less washing there will be less wear on the clothes meaning just worn thrown worn thrown so it's washed continuously like there's less washes um, so what what I feel like is with these transitions in life, like, and I thought of this as like a tip that I could also say to you guys, is it's so good to trial things. So for example, jewelry. I did this small ASOS haul, you saw in my, my ASOS online haul video, like I love pearls or whatever I called it. And you know, I got a little bit of jewelry. And I wanted to trial, you know, just seeing if I would put jewelry on every day, you know, make myself a little bit more presentable. I'm not, you know, I obviously don't have any makeup on. I'm just running to upload, getting some groceries and coming home. So it's not like very eventful, but I just wanted to see if I'll like put jewelry on and just look a little bit more pretty type thing. Because then if I sort of prove that to myself, I was thinking I did want to get a second or third hole and do some really nice like diamonds in my ear, like earrings permanent, like, you know, the hug ear, the hug earrings, which are a huge rage right now, or like some, some diamond studs and have them just so it's just done and ready every day. Like I thought that's just really pretty, you know, and, and then maybe, you know, get my eyelash extensions back on and then that way you just wake up feeling really nice and then that way it starts your day off nice and then that way you're just feeling a lot more positive and they're nice little steps to take so instead of jumping straight in and running to you know the piercing salon and getting holes put all the way up my ear and putting diamonds in there and not liking it or not and committing to it or whatever I just bought a few earrings just to see if I'll like you know wear them on a daily basis and these are my little hammered hoops that I showed in that haul and they're really nice and that was my little tip of the day I just wanted to tell you guys that's all don't show the puppy thank you yesterday was pretty cute when it was just saying please okay Please? Please? Yes,
Seriously. Shishly. Shishly. His little animal farm book giggles at the end of every line. So he like copies it. Do you know the Toy Story song? You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. He loves that. You got a friend in me. Are you singing it? So you don't know the Toy Story song. <laughs> so you don't know the Toy Story song. <laughs> okay, this is Jacqueline Hill. Love her or hate her, I think she's fab. This is what I'm talking about with the earring situation. Obviously, I am not going to get any of this internal stuff. But I'm just saying, like, see how she's got her, her studs in the bottom? And I have tried to pierce up here so many times that it just doesn't work. So I just saw it getting a few more holes on the lobe. Although I have such small ears, so I don't really know if it will suit me. Anyway, let me know if you guys have two or three holes on the lobe. Let me know if you like a setup like this. That's what I'm thinking, to be bedazzled a bit. So we are so excited to announce we're going on a family outing. Yes, I'm getting blown away by the AC. Woohoo! Family outing, Mussy! Hooray! You know how in Peppa Pig they say, Hooray! And they fall on the ground? Mussy doesn't. Why does Peppa Pig always make noise? Pig noises every time. Yep. Because they're pigs. Oh. So, would you like to tell the vlog where we're going? For well, the first time ever! I have been meaning. Uh, cat? To do Why are you speeding up? Time, yeah. <laughs> I'm not speeding up. You sped no, up to not. the cat crossing the road. No, that's such a lie. Continue. We have been meaning to go for some time to a massive new development. Area in the city of Sydney called Barangaroo. I, I believe there's three massive towers, yes? Residential business and entertainment where the new Crown Casino has gone in. I'm not sure if it's open the Crown Casino or not. Didn't you make reclaimed land? Yeah, Apparently. we reclaimed it where all the old docks were. So they got the old docks and they reclaimed some land. Um, That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's like palms in Dubai. Shout out to Dubai! Not Hi quite. Emirates! Pardon? Not quite like the palms, <laughs> but yes. That's pretty epic reclaiming land. That is just... That is so, like, amazing. I saw like a mini um, drone shot of it the other day. I was just really? like, on a vlog. The vlog life. Yeah. How are your Ray-Bans going? I'm sure the vlog My Ray-Bans are great. But I do have to say, there is a reason why you go and pay extra. For Polaroid? For um, getting it fitted really, really well. And actually taking the time and care to fit something really well. They don't fit? Because they do. Or know your size really well. I just chose the size that I thought was me. Well, did you go to Kirk and get them? No, I didn't. I'm sure he'll fit them for you. Yeah, but it's the size of, they actually measure that, and then they measure that. It's right. all called something. This is enthralling information. I book. think so. Do you want to say hi, guys? Oh, guys. Hi, guys, waving. Say hi, guys, waving. You shouldn't talk with your dumb in your mouth. Good boy. Hi guys. Good boy. Do you have bunny? Bunny. Oh, you want your juice? Okay. Well, this guy's totally going to hit the car. Dude. 
So I just have um, some studs in, but see what I mean by I have really small ears? Like I have the smallest ears in the world, like great Guinness Book of Records. And I think when I used to get up here, try and get up here pierced and it just didn't work. If I just do two more in the lobe, I mean it'll come right up here because they're so small. Um, but I'm not quite sure. Let me know what you think. Is this Barangaroo? Yep. Whoa, we're here, Mum. We found it. So do I turn left or do I turn right? Oh, cool. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, sweet. We found it, Jill. Thanks. This is the blowout bar that mum was like go and check out blowout but the blowout lux so it's like you get a wine and sit on the look it's like a bar look all the wines and you get a blowout done so cool it's cool Mashi. it's just cool oh my god I literally can't look at my baby we get to the Barangaroo and all he wants to do is ride the escalator look at those pants Jen they are so small <laughs> wow guys wow cute cute okay that's enough that's enough finished okay running Oh my god, how cute. Best friend. So this is Barangaroo and we're just getting some information on it. But apparently it was like a two and a half billion dollar build with reclaimed land. Three different buildings. So there's business offices, huge towers with corporate and then all residential on the bottom uh, sorry <laughs> all commercial on the bottom so there's some really nice cafes up that end and then there's heaps and heaps of restaurants so we're going to show you so then it all comes down right to the water's edge here to Darling Harbour wow what an amazing piece of property. But look at all these restaurants along the front. These are buildings. Whoa. It's just epic. Epic. So none of these restaurants existed before or up there did? This whole place was this whole place was the wall. But no, up there isn't up there. Again, again. <laughs> Massey was getting a little antsy, so I just picked him up a chocolate croissant. Cheese! A bird. A bird. A bird. Do you want to say hi, guys? <laughs> okay, don't open your mouth. Okay, okay. Bye. So we just stopped in just to get a little appetizer. Not like dinner, it's only 3.30, but a little appetizer. And just to get Mussy some like little chips or something. This is called hot chicken. Um, which is on the corner of like the side of Barangaroo, right on the water. And it's just so beautiful. So pretty. Someone has been running all the way up and down. Are you dancing? There's a rap song on it. Dance. 
He ran up and down the whole side. Good dancing, cool dude. So we are just walked all the way down to Darling Harbour. So this is beautiful Darling Harbour. And we just had a nice little stroll and now we're going back to have some Chinese dumplings. dumplings. This is really pretty. <laughs> Such a pretty lovely... Doesn't my wife look pretty today? Do you like my earrings? Very nice. Tell everybody what you think about me getting multiple piercings. My ears are too small. I will have to go through her ears getting infections. <laughs> And then me having to surgically <laughs> remove them and He's then have a chat for the next six months about how much of a bad idea it was. And I'm not the person that would ever say I told you so and I wouldn't. And I would just suck it up and it's go so through true. the process again. We have been together for 12 years. You get more for murder. And a long time. Um, <laughs> a long time. And when I used to pierce my cartilage, my top cartilage, which I've done four times now, and every single time has failed, this one time, he's so tall, sorry, I can't get him in the shop. This one time, we were in my apartment, and he was like surgically trying to like remove the ring, because my ear had blown up, like this elephant man ear. And wasn't it, it was like stuck, it was lost in the ear. We won't talk about the pus. Ew! <laughs> Hilarious. And another time, I've had so many different hairstyles. In band camp? I've had so many different hairstyles, and there was a really big time where I had short, spiky hair, you know, in my early videos. But I wanted and to be so the long. Greasy Mufasa hair. So I had these huge sewing extensions, and one time they got so tangled that they were all like a big ball, and he had to sit on the bed in the apartment and cut them out. <laughs> I put him through enough. I do. Good job, push the baby. Are you pushing Mussy the baby? Good job, Mussy. So helpful. Good one. Good job. He doesn't like you holding it. Get off. <laughs> Vlog takeover. So this is, I think it's the maritime. This is uh, Cockle Bay Wharf, just about sunset. This is where all the restaurants are and all the ships that they do lunch dinners and they do evening dinners on the harbour. How beautiful is that? That's all the apartments and stuff. So nice. And after all this, at the beginning of the first tower, Barangaroo starts. And all this have been here for probably around 15 years. Masi, are you with mummy? Mummy? Where do you want to go? Watch Mama. Watch Mama running. Okay, we have come, we went for a long walk and now we've got someone who's running and playing and kicking his ball. Now he's having a bit of a rest and we're sitting down to have an early dinner. And we have stopped in this beautiful restaurant called Lotus. Lotus Barangaroo, it's right on the corner and it's really, really pretty. And it's like fusion Asian, fusion Chinese. So it's got like really yummy dumplings and duck pancakes and all of the yummy stuff I just love. 
and so yeah we're ordering now and then yeah, I'll show you what we get for dinner Mummy's having some um, lamb dumplings no these are pork buns but pork. lamb bun yep. lamb bun and then this is some um, seafood dumpling we've eaten it Yes, We've eaten has. it already. Sorry, Love I forgot that. to show you. These are our duck pancakes that just came. They look very yummy. Okay. Uh, stir fry. Okay. Corn asparagus. This is our main dish. Sorry, it's gotten really dark here, guys. So it's corn asparagus, steak stir fry in what sort of sauce? Peppercorn sauce? What yeah, sauce? Peppercorn. Uh, black bean. Black bean sauce with a side of rice. That's our dinner. Mussy's nearly fallen asleep. I'm going to say bye on the vlog now. Okay, there's like no light, but we're going to say bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.